on, change of scenery. We're up in my game room because I needed a little bit more real estate for today's video. I thought that I would like to share with you the contents of my bug out bag. My backpack that I carry with me when I go to racing events or when I just go out to enjoy a little bit of freestyle. So the bag itself is a 3V gear Velox 2. It is a real military tactical backpack. Uh, unfortunately, this particular bag has been discontinued, but you can still find them on the internet for about $60 or so, uh, depending on which color you decide to pick up. Interesting fact, this is actually the same model backpack that Elliot Alderson uses in the TV series Mr. Robot. No connection in this case, I just really like the backpack and I thought you guys might find that interesting. So I guess uh, let's dig into it and I'll show you what I take with me on a regular basis. So on the outside of the bag, I carry all my quads. Uh, they're just strapped on. This guy over here is just simply connected with the strap from the bag itself. I can unclip it really easily. And the two quads that I carry on top are held in place with just a dog collar. So it's really easy to get them out of the way. I can just simply clip and they come out. Uh, these collars I got at a discount bargain store. I want to say they were about $2 a piece and I did modify them a little bit to meet my particular needs uh, and to fit the quads nice and tight. But still pick up a cat collar, small dog collar and essentially you'll have the same thing. Okay. Now that the quads are out of the way, let's get into the actual contents of the bag itself. I think we'll start with the top pockets and we'll work our way inside. So let's slide this over a little bit so I can start laying things out on the table and you can see what I actually carry. So this first top pocket, uh, this is cables and other small miscellaneous electronic devices. I do carry a small monitor with me so I can take people for rides. Uh, the rest of this pouch is I've got a controller wristband for my GoPro. Sometimes this comes in handy for framing up shots. A couple USB cables. One is for the quads and for connecting to a computer for Betaflight. The other one is for my Tyrannus if I ever need to plug in while in the field. couple more USBs just in case and I also carry a converter which will convert LiPo battery voltage to USB so if I ever need to charge my phone or I can even power my to-go computer off of this as well so that's pretty handy to have. In the next pouch up here on top I carry props. I always have a miscellaneous assortment of props to keep me going for the day. Uh, in this case, I'm currently flying the Cyclones, the T50-46Cs. These props are relatively new and I think they're okay. I don't have a real opinion on them yet other than that. Uh, and then the remainder of this pocket is I just carry a couple of pens with me. You never know when you need to write on something. Sharpie marker and just a regular Pilot G2 gel pen. These things are great. Working our way through, we're now getting to one of the inner pouches. Inside here, I carry my Fat Sharks. These are the Attitude V4. Must have, Tiny Whoop. Always have a Tiny Whoop with you. You never know when you're gonna need it. This is my seven millimeter Tiny Whoop. I have a build video out on this one, so please check that out. And in this pouch, I also carry a miscellaneous assortment of tools. I don't carry a lot of tools with me, uh, just a few basic things. Uh, some extra feet for the copters, just in case you tear one off or lose one in a crash or a hard landing. Zip ties, always need zip ties. I have a miscellaneous assortment of pliers and cutters. So two types of pliers, needle nose and nice blunt nose pair you, I can grab good with. 
pair of flush cutters. And I actually have a motor tool uh, in case the prop nuts are over tight. Electrical tape, electrical tape's good to have. Uh, just a little pry tool that I made. I cut off the other half of it. Uh, this can be handy for prying off stuck props. Uh, if you just you can't get them off the shaft, this really helps. I have a miscellaneous assortment of different types of screwdrivers and drivers. So there's actually quite a bit of this in here. Just about anything I could ever run into. This right here is Allen's and then I have small basic fill-ups and flatheads. Also a couple of nut drivers. This is 5.5 millimeter. This one here is going to work with all the standard nuts on the quad itself. And this one is 8 millimeters, so this one is good for prop nuts. I carry a couple of wrenches in different sizes. Again, 5.5 millimeter, an 8 millimeter, and also a 10 millimeter. A couple of smudgers. These are handy. Uh, if you need to poke at something electronic and you want it insulated, they can also be used for prying. I like these. These are handy to have. Hey, look, another screwdriver. Uh, a couple extra battery straps, just in case. These are just Apex brand. They're cheap, but they work. <laughs> Loto Wyatt strap. Here's the tool to program a run cam. You have to plug this into the back of the camera, and then you can use the joystick on here to program and configure the settings on a run cam. LiPo checker, should definitely carry a LiPo checker. Uh, just in case, I have a SD card reader if I ever need to plug in and see what's on a card. Some jumpers, I don't know why these are in here. Small piece of double side tape, whatever, just in case. Allen key, I don't know why this is in here, but whatever, it exists. And inside my Altoids tin, I keep a miscellaneous assortment of screws and nuts. So I have a whole bunch of 3 millimeter by 10 millimeter stainless steel. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. And I also carry a tool to tighten the nuts on a Tyrannus. Sometimes they loosen up. It's nice to have this. I hate loose things. Okay, as we continue to dig, I've got another pouch here. And inside of this pouch, I keep some miscellaneous documentation. Uh, I have some channel tables for VTXs. And I also have a printout. A visual guide. Hopefully you guys can see this. This is kind of cool to have. It's a visual guide of how all the channels lay out. This can be handy when you're flying with a bunch of people and you're trying to pick the bands that everyone should be flying on. So that's what's in this pocket, just some miscellaneous documentation. Hopefully make life go easier for me. As we get into the main pocket, first thing shoved in here are my batteries. I double bag my batteries. Lipos scare the heck out of me and I just feel a little bit more comfortable carrying around with them being double bagged. Whenever I go fly, I always make sure that I have enough lipos with me. Uh, usually this thing is jam packed full. Uh, my theory is I don't wanna be messing with things when I'm out flying. I want as much potential fly time as possible. So I will take as many batteries as I can, 15, 20 batteries. And I will also carry a couple of spare Fat Shark batteries as well. I recently upgraded to the 18650. 
uh, case and batteries. I haven't tried them yet, so hopefully that's going to help get more fly time and I'm not going to need to swap out Fat Shark batteries as much. So that's this. Double bag your batteries, carry as many of them as possible. Next large item is my Tyrannus. This is my second one because it is special edition. And look at that, it's got fires and skulls on it. How can you go wrong with that? I needed this, so I bought it. There it is, there's my Tyrannus. Couple more things. I carry a notebook with me if you're wondering what the pen is for. Sometimes I find it helpful to write things down. We all forget. But I also have notes in here on configuration and PID tuning. I don't know, can you guys see? Figuring out current sensors. Beta flight, 3-1 notch filter tuning, stuff like that. I just make notes, take it with me, comes in handy. And I think the last item in here is the Quadbook Pro. This is a 10 inch Asus tablet. I believe it's actually called a transformer. Uh, it's small, it's light, it's easy to carry. It does everything that I need it to in the field. Cool part though, is if you don't need the whole assembly, you can just push the button, just push the button and make a tablet out of it. So you can tablet away, work or plunk it and have the whole keyboard. This thing was cheap, but it's great to have in the field because sometimes you need a full blown installation of Betaflight while you're troubleshooting. So there it is. That's the contents of my bag. Some of you might be asking, hey Derek, why don't you take any spare parts with you? Well, the answer is simple, is I try to take enough working equipment with me so I don't have to make repairs in the field while I'm actually flying. It's easy to lose small parts. It's something I'd rather not deal with. When I'm out flying, if I have an issue or major crash and something's broken, I just simply move on to the next quad. Um, I'm one of the few people that's lucky enough to be able to do that and I found that that's best practice for me. I leave the parts at home, I go out, I fly, when it's broken, I come home, I take my time, I fix it at home. That way nothing's getting rigged and I can repair at my leisure and I don't have to worry about losing anything. That theory also holds true to my philosophy on batteries. I don't take a charger with me. I try to take enough batteries with me so I don't have to worry about charging. Uh, some long days at racing events, I might have to charge one or two batteries to get through the day. Uh, but again, I'm fortunate enough to be able to have enough batteries where that really isn't a huge issue for me. And I can easily take about 20 batteries when I'm going out for the day. And usually that's more than enough. I usually end up breaking all my equipment before I run out of batteries when I do that. So that kind of works out for me. As the winter here in New England progresses, I'm going to do videos that concentrate on more detail with the individual parts and products that I use. I'm going to do a video on my main 5-inch quad builds. I'm going to do a video on my Tyrannus, and I'm probably going to do a video on my Fat Sharks. And I'm going to get into how I set things up in those videos and personal preferences and just how I like to run my gear. This was just a general overview of the things that I take with me when I go out for a day of flying. Hopefully this video will give you guys some suggestions on what to take with you and maybe what to leave at home. So that'll do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, please click on that subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment, click like, ring a bell, do something. It's all good. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.